So in the previous video, we've created a little alert button. Um, something that's probably a little bit more common uh, for you to use is to receive some sort of user input. So this is where we start to deal with states a little bit more, but also man manipulation of the data types as well. So we're going to scrap this button that we created before, um, create a little bit more of an interface, and I'll delete that state. So we're going to have two states. One will be the value from the text box. And the second state we're going to have is our calculation, our sum. You're going to be using states more and more, so you'll start to, to get used to these, as well as binding values later on. So I'm going to have a V stack. And I'll also have an H stack, so a horizontal stack and a vertical stack. Within the horizontal stack, I'm going to have some text. Uh, this is just to explain what I'm doing. And then I'm going to have a text field. So this is where the user will be able to input. So for a text field, we have enter a number. And then we need to decide where the value of this will be used. So we're going to use the state of txt value. From here, we can do a little bit of styling. So, we change the properties of it. Take field style. Let's make it rounded border. It's kind of a design trend at the moment. Let's use some default styles for the text. Add some padding. Set the width of it. Uh, let's set the max width. You can see something different. And we'll also have a corner radius of 40. A lot of these properties which you can style for one item, you can style for others, for example, buttons or text, etc. Okay, so I have those there. I'm then going to have my text which will display the answer. So it's going to use again that value for our answer. And then finally, I'm going to have my button. So let's have a look how this is rendering so far. Make sure it looks how I want to. So I've got my two times whatever I enter into this box here. Uh, I've got an equal symbol, which is where it's going to show my answer. And then underneath, I'm going to create a button. So again, let's have a button with an action. We're going to convert the value. So as we receive this from uh, the text field, it's going to be a string, but we need it to be an integer so that we can multiply it by two. So we're going to get new variable. We'll get our txt value. And then we're going to explicitly, we use that exclamation mark to explicitly times it by two. And then my answer, which is my state up here. We'll convert that back to a string. Okay, so that's our action set up. We also need to set up the text as well. So we have a text view. This is just the button, so what the actual button will look like. So then I'm just going to do some styling for this text. So I'm going to have the foreground color as black. Set the font weight to bold. I'll add some padding. And set the size of this as well. So from there, I can also set the shape of this button. So I can set the background. And I can use clip shapes as well similar to what we did with our image. So now I have my nicely designed button. Uh, if I put in a number, it should now take that user input and times it by two. So, so far we've used those states. We've set one for the value within this text box. 
we've used one for our answer, which also corresponds to whatever we put inside the box. So this will actually update as we go through and use that state.